The movie revolves around Yip Man, a renowned Wing Chun master. He has dedicated all his life to the practice and promotion of Wing Chun, a traditional Chinese martial art known for its practicality, efficiency, and close-range combat techniques. Yip Man is one of the most respected martial artists in the region and has played a significant role in popularizing Wing Chun. He has a son, Yip Ching, who is considered disobedient and arrogant. The movie begins with Yip Man being diagnosed with cancer. The doctor suggests he undergo chemotherapy, but he remains silent and returns home. There, an African-American man visits Wing Chun Academy, and in the hallway, his face lights up when he sees a picture of Yip Man with his students. Then, he meets Ip Man's students, but they start to pick on him because of his language and appearance. This leads to a fight, and to everyone's surprise, the man overpowers the bully. But just as he's about to kick him, Ip Man appears and knocks him down. However, instead of getting angry, the man is in awe of Yip Man, and he embraces him. He then introduces himself as Bruce Lee's student and reveals that he was sent here to invite Yip Man to the US to watch a karate fight. The man then hands him a flight ticket and a kung fu guidebook written by Bruce Lee. Yip Man is happy with the invitation, but he rejects it, saying he doesn't have much time left. He then excuses himself, but the man decides to leave the tickets with Yip Man's student in case he changes his mind about coming to the US. Meanwhile at school, Yip Ching gets in a fight with his classmate and ends up leaving him with serious injuries. The school headmaster learns about the incident and calls Yip Man to complain about his son's behavior. It turns out Yip Ching frequently fights with other boys, and fed up with his behavior, the headmaster expels him from the school. Later, Yip Man arrives at the scene and apologizes on his son's behalf. He requests the headmaster give him another chance. However, the latter declines. He instead advises Yip Man to send his son to study abroad, as no other school in China would accept him at this time of the year. Yip Man then returns home, and after a brief consideration, he decides to take the headmaster's advice and send his son to the US. The following night, he calls his best friend Fatso to look after his son while he's away. Yip Cheng learns about his father's plan and protests, saying he wants to stay in China and learn Kung Fu like his father. He also says that he acts up because he's fed up with being blamed for his mom's death. This infuriates Yip Man, and he slaps his son. But before things could escalate, Fatso intervenes and breaks them apart. The following day, Yip Man flies to the US to find a good school for his son. Once there, he's picked up by a man named Khan, who drives him to the Chinese Benevolent Association. The Chinese Benevolent Association is an organization that represents and serves the interests of the Chinese community in the US. Its primary objectives are to provide support and assistance to Chinese immigrants and their descendants, promote cultural preservation, and foster social harmony. Yip Man wants to enroll his son into a Chinese school, for which he requires permits from the association leader. There, Yip Man meets Master Wan and a group of Kung Fu masters. However, before he could state the purpose of his visit, the master takes a dig at Yip Man because his apprentice Bruce Lee is teaching Kung Fu to foreigners. Not only that, Bruce has written a Kung Fu guidebook in English. Master Wan fears that the foreigners could use the Kung Fu skills of the Chinese against them in the future. This almost leads to a full-blown fight. But Yip Man controls himself and returns to his place of accommodation. He then calls his son back home, but the latter refuses to speak to him. The scene then cuts to Master Wan training his daughter Yona. However, it becomes evident that the girl has no interest in martial arts. Instead, she wants to become a cheerleader. The following morning, Khan takes Yip Man to meet his friend, hoping to get some people to secure the transfer papers for his son. However, they are once again left disappointed. Later that night, Yip Man attends Bruce Lee's event giving him a pleasant surprise. After the show, both of them have a conversation and Bruce Lee agrees to help him secure the transfer paper. He also introduces his master to his student named Hartman, who is serving in the US Marines. Suddenly, a group of white karate students arrive at the diner and challenge Bruce Lee to a fight. The kung fu expert accepts the challenge without thinking twice and they head out. As expected, he beats up the rookies without even breaking a sweat 
showcasing his extremely impressive skills. The following day, Yip Man goes to the school with the necessary transfer documents. However, he's also informed that he also requires a permit from the Chinese Benevolent Association. When he continues to insist, the school officials give him an alternate option. Yip Man will have to donate 10,000 US dollars to the school in order for them to overlook the paperwork requirements. The scene then cuts to Yona's school, where she's selected to be on the cheerleading team. A jealous girl named Becky protests Yona's inclusion, but the teacher brushes her aside. Later, Yip Man arrives at the school and encounters a crowd of students gathered around Yona being bullied by Becky and her boyfriend's gang. They hold her and chop her hair in order to force her out of the cheerleading team. Yona eventually breaks free and pushes Becky towards a fence, causing her to scratch her own face. But as Yona is about to be caught by the fence door, Yip Man intervenes and pushes her away, accidentally getting his arm caught in the process. Nevertheless, Yip Man uses his kung fu skills to defeat the young thugs with swift and effective moves. This leaves the entire crowd impressed and speechless. Later, after returning home, Becky complains to her mother about the incident. This infuriates the arrogant mother, and she calls her husband, who works at U.S. Immigration. Meanwhile, Yona arrives with Yip Man and tries to talk to her father about the permit, but he's taken aback by the state of her face. He turns red with anger, as he's unable to accept the fact that his daughter got beaten up in a fight. Therefore, instead of pitying her, he slaps her, making her cry. Yip Man takes Yona's side, but Master Wan tells him off, saying he can never understand what Chinese immigrants go through in a foreign land. Yip Man then proceeds to leave, but Master Wan stops him and challenges him for a fight. A long battle ensues, and both of them match each other stride for stride. They are eventually forced to stop when an earthquake occurs out of nowhere. After a while, when the situation calms down, Yip Man proceeds to head back home, and he takes Yona along with him. He then calls his son back in China, but the boy still refuses to speak to him. Meanwhile, Bruce Lee's student Hartman tries to persuade Barton Geddes, the gunnery sergeant at his base, to include Chinese martial arts, particularly Wing Chun, in their close quarters combat training. However, Geddes is an unabashed racist, and he insists that the Marines' current karate program is far more superior than any other martial art. When Hartman disagrees, Geddes makes him fight Colin Freighter, the Marines' karate sensei. Hartman tries his best, but he is eventually defeated by the seasoned sensei. In the next scene, Yona somehow manages to acquire a permit for Yip Man, but the latter tears it apart as he's aware that she got it through deceit. Instead, he insists on obtaining the permit directly from Master Wan through his genuine willingness. However, Yona shrugs it off and invites him to the Chinese festival. At the Marines' headquarters, Hartman shows a Chinese kung fu demo to his commander, which impresses him. The latter then orders Barton to learn it and gives Hartman the permission to go to the Chinese festival to do more research on it. This annoys Barton, and he tells Colin about it. Upon learning this, Colin decides to go to the festival to prove that Americanized karate is better than kung fu. The movie then cuts to the day of the festival. Yip Man is in attendance, while Hartman is busy recording the event. After a while, Yona approaches Yip Man and advises him to sit with the other masters, but he politely declines. Meanwhile, at home, Master Wan is busy with some paperwork, when suddenly, Becky's father, Walters, comes barging in and arrests him in relation to an illegal Chinese immigrant case. On the other hand, Colin arrives at the festival and picks a fight with the Kung Fu masters. He challenges them into a battle. The masters accept the challenge, but Colin defeats them one by one. However, when he's about to strike a female master, Yip Man intervenes and kicks him away. This leads to a deadly battle between the two which goes back and forth for a while. But in the end, it is Ip Man who emerges victorious, much to everyone's joy. As the people at the festival celebrate, Yona's uncle arrives and informs her about her father's arrest. Worried, Yona immediately rushes to the immigration office with Yip Man and her uncle. Meanwhile, Barton learns about Colin's defeat, 
This infuriates him further, and he decides to pay the Chinese Benevolent Association a visit. In the detention, Walter accuses Master Wan of forging fraudulent documents to help illegal immigrants settle in the U.S. Master Wan denies the allegations, but nevertheless, Walter sends his men to detain everyone. Later, Yip Man and Yona arrive at the immigration office. However, they're stopped by the African-American man from earlier. It turns out the man works at the immigration office, and he warns Yip Man about Walter's plans to arrest everyone at the association. Yona's uncle then calls his friend to alert everyone about the impending arrests. However, suddenly, Barton arrives there and starts beating everyone up. He demands to know about Master Wan's whereabouts, mistaking him for Yip Man. Unfortunately, the people at the association give in and direct Barton towards the immigration office. As Barton heads there, Yip Man learns about the attack and returns to the association. He is furious at Barton, but he controls his emotions and tells everyone at the association to vacate the place to avoid arrest. Meanwhile, after reaching the immigration office, Barton asks for Walter's permission to take Master Wan to the Marine's headquarters and challenge him to a fight. The cunning officer gives him the permission, and so Barton forcefully takes the Master away. There, they engage in another deadly fight, with both showcasing their impressive moves. But in the end, Barton injures Master Wan badly and defeats him. Elsewhere, Yip Man takes the association people to Bruce Lee's gym for treatment. As a result, they finally realize their mistake and apologize to Yip Man for making harsh judgments about him. Later, Yip Man calls his son back home, but the result is the same. The boy doesn't want to speak. Hence, Yip Man finally decides to come clean about his cancer. He reveals that he doesn't have time left and that his condition is deteriorating by the day. Upon learning of this, Yip Ching finally speaks to his father. The latter apologizes to his son for slapping him and promises to teach him martial arts after returning home. Yip Ching is stunned and he breaks into tears. Yip Man then comforts his son and promises to return home as soon as possible after finishing his business in the U.S. The following day, Yip Man reveals that he beat up Colin and challenges Barton to a fight. Another intense battle follows, and Barton scores a lead in the beginning as Yip Man's cancer starts to slow his body down. However, our brave hero refuses to give up and he fights his way back. Eventually, he manages to defeat the sergeant with a final blow on his neck. After some time, Master Wan recovers and he reconciles with Yip Man. He also finally gives him the permit to enroll his son in a U.S. school. Following this, Yip Man flies back home and Yip Ching is happy to see him. He asks his father to teach him martial arts and the latter agrees, on the condition that he'll only teach him once. Therefore, Yip Ching films his father as he shows him his moves. Yip Man eventually passes away, and the movie ends with Bruce Lee attending his funeral and paying his final respects.